So Michele, how long have we been whisking the zabaglione for? Uh, I think around uh, 10 minutes, it depends uh, how strong you are. Now, and, and you get this <laughs> figure right, don't you? Is that when you know that it's uh, ready? Uh, yes, but and again, always um, make sure the water is not boiling underneath. That's yes. the most important thing. Yes. And then when it gets the right thick consistency, mm. okay, that's when you, when you actually know that it's ready. At this stage, if you wanted to make These a nice mold, viewers that I have to ask that's you important. About. If Tell you want to make a little cake, or for example, you want to do a little shape around, you want this cake to stay up, because usually this cake is sort of served like this, you, you had that thing that Caterina's got. Which is the leaf of um, gelatin. gelatin. Yeah, uh, uh, I don't know where you can buy it. Um, uh, some supermarket, whatever, some specialized shop. This is fish gelatin, I believe. Yes, it's yes. fish based, so mm. it's good for vegetarian as well. Absolutely. Um, now, so at this stage, you can add that because the mixture will be warm, okay? And that, what you have to do with this, put it in cold water, not hot because it will go away, it will dissolve. Cold water for mm -hmm. a couple of minutes, okay? okay? And then you pick it up and it's sort of like a jelly mixture and then you throw it into and you the zabaglioni. In mm -hmm. Usually if the thin one, the different one, thin, a couple of them for this recipe will do. And that's you, about a gram each? Something like uh, that? Yeah, one, a couple of grams maximum. Okay. Now, at this stage, that's when we add the, the mascarpone. And so that's one kilo to our mixture. Yep. And now, once again, it's just a light whisking action. Okay. And how do we know we won't get any lumps in that, Michele? If the mascarpone is good, you won't get it. Oh. And you can see, the mascarpone should be creamy. That's why sometimes you find that here it's really hard. Yes. And the mascarpone okay. shouldn't be like that. And then we've got this egg white. Mm -hmm. That we're going to put through the mix. Okay, so it's firm. So really firm, Michele. And uh, now, usually what you should do is this. You just grab your mixture, you oh. do it like this, very gentle. That's what they call folding. Because the egg white might sort of melt straight away. Oh. And you can see there's, they're not, they don't, there's nothing underneath, so it's really good, really firm. And usually, <clears throat> tiramisu you can do it the night before. You should do it in the fridge. It should stay in the fridge for a few hours so it's actually set properly. Because at the moment, straight away, it might be a little bit soft. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Look at that. You can sort of see that the egg white hasn't quite amalgamated with the mascarpone and zabaglione mixture because it's quite lumpy, but through this action that will all dissipate? Yeah. So okay. get together. All right. Just remember you only need a little bit of sugar in the egg white when you when you whisk it because if you put too much they might get really hard and that's mm -hmm. they won't really melt. Okay. Okay. Now at this stage what I'm going to do, we probably can put a little bit, just to cover the bottom one. Now, always, always remember I like a lot of cream, so I usually <laughs> exaggerate a little bit. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Here we go. See, they're too efficient today, the, the stuff here. Why is that? Taking everything away. <laughs> <laughs> now, you do the first one here. And once again, we were talking about the variations, Michele. Now, we are going to do a slight variation, aren't we, tonight? Yeah. Just to make it a bit easier. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of amaretti, French amaretti. You amaretti. can even put some uh, chocolate if you want to, yes. chopped chocolate. Yes. Use the real chocolate Very if you fantastic. can. Now, um, I'm going to put, a, usually, you should do a, a, you know, a full layer of biscuit. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do today, because I don't like to make biscuit, I'm just going to, especially if you do a big cake, I like to put a few one just in the middle, so we mm. actually hold the cake a little bit. Gorgeous. Now, for the biscuit in the middle, you can sort of dip them a little bit more. Just go easy on that as well. Mm -hmm. Because the middle one, you know, they don't have to hold the cake okay. also. Beautiful. Especially on a big one, I think you sort of uh, need to, um, to have a few of them in the middle. Mm -hmm. Now, now we're going to finish uh, Yes, you can put as many biscuits as you want. I mean, that's a personal thing. Yeah, yeah. In the restaurant, as we say, we like to have lots of cream in ours, so... Only here, remember. <laughs> and if you go to a restaurant that is all biscuit, you can say to them, listen... <laughs> can you give I've me been the short-changed. <laughs> can you give me the tiramisu without the biscuit? <laughs> you know, because yeah. as you can see, it's, it's easy to put biscuit. It's hard to do the, the real Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. And of course, the principal and most important factor here is this zabaglione. Not to overcook the eggs, 
and to do that lovely soft motion so you get this wonderful consistency. Mmm. <laughs> and um, what do you do with the cocoa? You just put it at the end before you serve it. I think uh, otherwise it gets absorbed too much. A very non-sweetened cacao yeah. or cocoa, pure, as you say in English? Pure, pure. cocoa. So it's don't pizza. get imitation because imitation, uh, this, it's nothing but cocoa. It's just, uh, I don't know what they're putting We in. don't want the stuff that you put on cappuccinos because that's got too much sugar in it. No, so you want the pure cacao. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, my opinion is you put the cocoa before you serve it. But then again, if you're going to, if you know that in an hour you're going to eat it, beautiful, just leave it like that. Because there. obviously the cacao, once you put it on, it's going to be absorbed into the cream mixture. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so this is ready and mm. uh, we're going to put it in the fridge, ready to use after.